society could benefit from having a few scientists in positions of high authority. Why? Because when you're in positions of high authority, you as a scientist actually bring to the table other assets. Just as if you're head of a high technology company, you actually, if you have expert knowledge, if you're an automobile manufacturer and you really knew how cars were built, it would actually help, not hurt. But in the end, you know, financial decisions would have to be made in part engineering, in part marketing, in part very many things. And so I think this is my attitude about having scientists in government positions and in government positions of high authority. Uh, they bring to the table some aspects that um, most countries are not used to. In fact, as I said, I was the first scientist to be a member of the United States cabinet. And so I think this is a good start. Uh, should everyone on the cabinet be a scientist? Of course not. Uh, but to be head of an agency which is 95% science and technology, to be me to be the first is in, you know, in retrospect, why did I have to be the first? In the early development of uh, hydraulic fracturing, were there mistakes made? Yes. Was there very, some, some people were sloppy about it, but um, there's been an exaggeration, in my opinion, for, you know, gasoline and things like that. Um, and here's where I go back to the science. Uh, is this natural gas in your faucet coming from a swamp or coming from hydraulic fracturing? We actually have mechanisms to measure using isotopes of carbon, carbon-13, carbon-12, which is it fossil or not? The other thing is before, uh, I'm a big proponent, before you start hydraulic fracturing, if you want to start it, again, it's a society decision. I would hardly recommend, and this is what we did in the Department of Energy, that the company take a baseline in the water. This is, this is the level of methane in the water now, before you've done anything. And as you do this, you're constantly monitoring what is happening. All right? And so if there tends, turns out there's this history that you can't avoid this, is, then you should say, we can't do this. So, so again, I think, uh, you know, each country will have to make its decision, uh, but it's not either you do this or you do that. You, I think it, you can do it safely. The fact that you can do it safely doesn't mean people will do it safely because that's where regulation oversight is very important. Right, because, because there are you know, people who do take shortcuts. So again, uh, it is a societal decision. This is where science can help democracy, but in the end, each country has to decide.